Well, good evening, good morning. So, if we don't get a chance to turn on the camera during the day, i like to show you what we've been up to, at least so you have an idea of what is going on here. Let's get to it. All right. Heather and I, hey, I parked the bike there earlier, but Heather and I went this morning, got a load of logs, brought them out, sharpened the sawmill blade real quick, and then we milled these guys. We have enough to do all the rafters on the one side now. So we have 10, 10, three by six, and we have a whole whack of two by six. We didn't pile them properly because we're going to use them anyways. So there is 12 10 foot two by six there, and there is three eight foot two by six. So, oh, plus we've got all of this as well. So we're going to go through this very shortly, and we are going to sort those out. Doesn't that look nice? So we only got two logs this morning. That's all we did. Went and got two logs, and we got, I'm not sure how many logs the other day. Four logs? Five logs? Well, let me see. I get two. So one, two. So five logs. Yeah, five logs because I get two. So there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five logs. Yeah, we got five logs the other day because we square them six by six and you get two of those out of each log so we got five logs that did that then today we just got two small logs because we're in a hurry and heather did not want to hang out with her buddies in the bush she's not a big fan of those i would say bees but they're not bees they're wasps or hornets these guys are vicious and relentless well somebody asked me why i put that hole there why we cut the hole i plan on putting a window there anyways but see when Heather stands here at the sawmill while I'm milling, she can look right through there and we can see if anybody's coming in the driveway to visit and then we can go see what they're up to instead of being rude and just milling. That's kind of why that is. And if we get a delivery so we can see what's going on there. Somebody asked about my camera. What a nightmare with that. Nothing with my camera yet. It's still stuck in Mississauga. Um... Never, ever, ever would I ever deal with DHL again. That has to be the worst shipping company going. The camera we ordered now. So when we ordered this camera that was on order, the seller, sorry, DHL didn't even get a hold of us. We called to see where the camera was. DHL said that um, the seller did not put the proper address on the shipping label so we called to see what happened to it that's what they told us so then we had to update our shipping so now we've been calling amazon and amazon says there's nothing they can do about it right now because um what happens is we called and had our address changed so we have to wait so what a joke anyways so this is what heather and i did today after we we're done going to the bush and milling we ended up throwing this little deck together really quick we put up this tent canopy and we put some of our tools in here because we're going to need these tools really quick because we have a show to go to and we sell our cutting boards and different stuff so these are some of the tools we had in in, in the basement of the house so i have my um Traded some stuff for that. That's one of those industrial type sanders. Uh, the wood lathe I got at the yard sale quite a while ago, a long time ago. This is our table. This is our compound sliding miter saw that was upstairs. That's the little drill press I've had for a long, long time. It was in the basement. Um, this router table. I'm sorry, this, this jointer, uh, six inch jointer. I ended up trading some stuff for it. That's my old thickness planer. And that's our old table saw. So I just brought it out here and uh, sat there here because we're going to get at this very shortly and, and we're, we're going to be needing these. So 
yeah, so that's why they are out here. And then you just put this canopy up here real quick just so they wouldn't get wet. So we have another one like that. So what we're going to do is build another floor like this tomorrow real quick. But we're putting up rafters tomorrow again. We're going to build them, put them up. We're going to, we're going to cut all the, Heather's going to cut all the pieces down here. So I'm going to move this table out of here. I'm going to move the old alpine out of here. I'm going to move this third alpine out of here that's in pieces. We're going to go at this. We're going to pick this stuff up here. There's some insulation in there and some sawdust and whatnot. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff. Uh, that other set of old scaffold there, I only had one set of those. Actually, it belongs to my mother-in-law. Uh, it's got to go back to the camp, but we have that one section there. It's got to go back to her. Uh, anyways, that's going to come out of here. And we're going to set up the table saw right here. Boom, here for now. Uh, sorry, table saw over there. Miter saw here. And then over in that corner is going to be the wood lathe for now. So that's what's going on. Um... Yeah, that uh, rototiller is going to go out. It has to be put on the garden tractor very shortly anyway. So that's what we did today, folks. Did some other stuff too. Um, yeah. What did I do? Man, today was a blur. <clears throat> we did a little bit of garden work as well. We do garden work right away in the morning before it gets too hot. So we work in the garden. And then... We got, so right away I bring out that one blue eddy and I set it right up there to charge off these three solar panels. By the time it's charged enough, up enough, I set it on the front of the ATV and then I strap it down and I set that on the uh, chainsaw battery. And then we load the chainsaw on there, the battery chainsaw. And then we head off into the wood lot, cut down a few trees, skid them out, load them, come out, then we mill. By that time, it's getting pretty darn warm, and we're not feeling like being out in the heat for that long. So then we worked at um, clearing some stuff out of there and uh, getting to um, putting this up. But I did something down here. I don't know if I ever showed you folks, but I want to show you this. Oh, man, that shouldn't be there. I don't know how that fell off there, but I'll set this up here put that in tomorrow so anyways I never showed you this I don't think but this oh I gotta be careful <laughs> there was a big bees nest down here Heather almost got stung here yesterday man she was so close there was a big bees nest hanging underneath there sorry not a bees nest wasp or hornet probably a hornet I brought this stick down today before she got stung and I knocked it on the ground right there. I'm not going to go any closer. It may be empty, but I'm not going to really push them. And it was, I knocked it off and I ran over it with the ATV because I'm not a big fan of getting stung and I don't want Heather to either. So they can go somewhere else. They don't have to be in that spot. So anyways, Heather and I moved this camper trailer out here a long time ago. I'm sure you've seen this. But then started working in here and clearing this spot up here so i got a spot to store our stuff around the corner here and you can't see it from up over there even when the when this uh, these field of daisies are cut and, and all this stuff here is put back here in a line you're not going to see it from up by the building now you won't see that at all so i think i think some of you folks have probably seen this back a lot of you older subscribers older like viewers that's been watching long-term viewers not older i should call you long-term viewers not older viewers long-term viewers so most of you folks have seen what i've done over here over the years by pushing all this dirt down over here man like that is deep down there this is what it looks like from standing here now that's what it looks like way over there by the house now we are starting to get it looking a little on the, well, far from uptown, but you know what I mean. Anyways, that, that, excuse me, that is how it's looking now. From the back here. I seldomly show this, but that's what it's like back here. We have a long ways. We have to be 300 feet, maybe, two, 300 feet from 
where I'm standing, I'm not quite at the edge. I'm pretty close to the edge. Another, another 10, 12 feet, and I'd be right at the edge there. But I have expanded this. I have pushed that much dirt from over there to here over the years with dozers like that. Yeah, that's not my dozer, by the way. But anyways, I've pushed all this dirt all the way over. If you look back, you'll see that was a ravine there. And we slowly carved out the ravine, flattened it, and filled in some of these holes. These trees, I just pushed here this year, and look at those trees. That tree there has to be three feet high now. They're growing right beside the camper trailer. And I know they are poplar. I don't really want them here because the sun comes up over there. And I eventually want to put my solar panels out here facing that direction. That's what I want to do. And this is the hill. And down over there, that is the bridge that Heather and I made years ago. Where we still travel through there to get a load of logs with our ATV. So we just slip out behind the house. And we just continue on through there. I have to finish mowing the grass in here and up in there. But slowly we're getting it to where the grass is growing. We also want to get it back at it and finish the siding at some point in time too in the trim as well. But we really want to get this building closed in as much as we can for this winter. I'm hoping in another couple of weeks... We'll be ready for the roofing steel on at least that one part. That's why I brought the tools out. It's just getting real close. I think another week or so won't take us long to get the strapping on that. I wouldn't be surprised if another couple of weeks, if it don't rain too badly, we can, we will be ready for roofing steel on that. That it's only 16 foot section because, well, um, 18, we, we'd go 18 if we wanted to. The only, whoa, where's that bee's nest? I don't want to be walking on that, man. But they're not they're not gonna be too friendly with me. Gotta be careful there. And it was right to the right from the end of the building to the end of that top ridge beam, that would be 20 feet. But we're uh, four feet back from that, so I can join that other four foot pony wall right there. So that's why I'm back two feet, sorry. I'm back two feet, but then the one truss is back. Uh, four feet. That's what's happening there. So, anyways, we're hoping another couple of weeks we'll be ready for the roofing steel. Then, once the roofing steel is on there, we are going to straighten up these posts here. We're going to continue those rafters all the way down and sit on these posts on a beam. That way we can run the sawmill here this winter. So we can just keep working on this building, I hope. We'll use the old Alpine to drag our logs out. That sawmill should be under a roof. At least 16, 20 feet of it will be under a roof. So we can mill all winter, I hope. I hope, I hope. I have to plumb this four-foot wall up there yet. I don't think it's really plumb yet. But I'll check that before I anchor the rafters. This side over here, we've already plumbed this up. Look at how fast those, look at how fast that timber turns color. Isn't that incredible? Look at how dark they're getting already. Look at that, they're starting to get dark. <laughs> They'll mask the other ones pretty soon. But, hey, it, it, you know, we just gotta get, so if we can get this closed in up here, get this, get the roof on that, Eventually get the gable end closed in, get the sides done, you know, hang a tarp there or something, hang a tarp here, keep our tools in there, keep our sawmill over there. I'm hoping we can work on this all winter, like we did on the siding the one year in the house, get all this closed in. Um, and then next year, it's a matter of gravel and concrete for the floor. That is looking good. I didn't even bother mowing the grass out here this year. You know, I, I used to mow the grass here. Well, last year, the year before, this was kind of brush and stuff. So we kind of just clean this out a bit. I didn't even mow the grass in here because I really wasn't concerned. I just want to get this building 
closed in at least that one section that's what we're working on so yeah, that's how that's going anyways that's what we did this evening folks and this morning and this afternoon <laughs> i also want to get some of these garden tractors see that's why i'm clearing that spot down around the corner where the uh where the dozer sits i want to put some of my spare garden tractors down there i don't want to put them out back because it's too far the odd time I have an ATV pop out through there that somebody's lost and just traveling around and I don't want some of this going missing. Also, I'm going to take these solar panels and store them down there as well. And all the spare ones at the fence. But, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Fired Heather's little car up here too and brought it out. It was sitting over by the uh, woodshed, the old woodshed. So brought it out here and parked it. It'll eventually go down there too, and we want to do some body work on this. Fix this up. We might uh, maybe drive this in the next few years, but that is a Toyota Echo. Don't ask me what year. Don't have a clue. But it is a Toyota Echo. And then I want to take our spare blue car. We have a bunch of stuff in there, but we want to take that out once we get the roof on the building. Oh, something's happening. Oh, we just got a notification, that's all. Somebody posted a video. So, uh, anyway... Yep. Anyways, you folks take care. And tomorrow we're doing rafters. So if you come back tomorrow, folks, you will see us doing rafters. So I'm going to give some updates uh, like this if we if we didn't get a chance to set up the camera. I didn't think we were doing anything that interesting, but uh, perhaps we were to some folks. It's just, yeah, some folks don't like it. Some folks don't like this walk around stuff either, but I, I do it so you know that we haven't disappeared or went off fell off the side of the earth well not that i think it's a flat earth i mean the only thing flat earthers fear is sphere itself <laughs> that's a bad one anyways you folks take care and we'll talk to you tomorrow bye bye all